In the cold vastness of space, where silence reigns supreme and distance stretches beyond imagination, a silent giant may be nearing its final act. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the constellation Orion, has recently sparked global intrigue. Known for its sheer size, so vast it would engulf the orbit of Jupiter if placed at the center of our solar system, Betelgeuse has begun acting strangely. Once a steadfast beacon in our night sky, it has now become a cosmic enigma, fluctuating in brightness, sending pulses of energy across space, and perhaps, nearing the violent end of its life in a spectacular supernova. What makes Betelgeuse's behavior so compelling is its recent dimming event. In late 2019 and early 2020, astronomers around the world observed something unexpected. The star, typically one of the brightest in the sky, began to lose its brilliance. For months, it dimmed dramatically, leading to widespread speculation that it might be on the verge of exploding. While stars like Betelgeuse do naturally fluctuate in brightness, the extent and timing of this event were unprecedented. It wasn't long before telescopes turned toward Orion, capturing images and data that would stir scientific debate and public curiosity alike. The massive star's change in behavior sparked concerns that humanity might witness its death sooner than expected. The mystery deepened as researchers analyzed data from both ground-based observatories and space telescopes. Some suggested that the dimming was caused by a cloud of dust expelled from the star itself, a sort of cosmic cough before a fatal collapse. Others pointed to potential changes in Betelgeuse's outer layers, possibly tied to the complex processes governing the end of massive stars. One thing was clear, Betelgeuse was no longer stable. An instability in a red supergiant this size is a warning sign, a cosmic countdown that may have already begun. But the real question haunting astronomers is, what happens when Betelgeuse does explode? A supernova from a star like Betelgeuse would be one of the most powerful events in our galactic neighborhood in recorded human history. When a red supergiant like this runs out of nuclear fuel, gravity takes over, collapsing the core in a matter of seconds. This implosion sends shockwaves outward, triggering a catastrophic explosion that releases more energy in a few days than our sun will emit in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. That energy would include massive bursts of X-rays, gamma rays, and neutrinos, high-energy particles that travel at near light speed and can penetrate even the densest matter. What makes the prospect of Betelgeuse's explosion so chilling is its relative proximity. At roughly 642 light-years away, it's close enough that its light has already made part of the journey toward us. If Betelgeuse went supernova today, we wouldn't know until 642 years later. But when it does arrive, the effects could be more than just visual spectacle. High-energy radiation, especially X-rays and gamma rays, could reach Earth in force. These waves have the potential to damage the ozone layer, which acts as Earth's shield against harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. If the ozone layer were significantly depleted, it could expose life on Earth to dangerous levels of UV radiation, leading to increased risks of cancer, crop failure, and disruption of ecosystems. Adding another layer of concern is the detection of iron-60 isotopes on Earth and the Moon. Iron-60 is a radioactive isotope that doesn't naturally occur in significant quantities on Earth. Its presence in seafloor sediments and lunar regolith suggests Earth has been exposed to supernova debris in the past. These isotopes are cosmic fingerprints, evidence of previous nearby supernovae. The fact that we've found them means this isn't just theoretical. Earth has already been hit by the aftermath of a dying star at least once in its history. What if Betelgeuse is preparing to send the next wave? The supernova wouldn't destroy Earth, at least not in the way science fiction often dramatizes. We're far enough away that the initial blast wouldn't vaporize our planet. But the energy it sends, especially in the form of high-energy radiation and cosmic rays, could have profound impacts. It's not just about biological effects, it's also about technology. Satellites, power grids, and communication systems are vulnerable to such radiation. Our increasingly digital civilization, dependent on satellites and wireless infrastructure, is more susceptible than ever before. 
A powerful enough supernova could fry circuits, disrupt GPS systems, and interfere with global communications, similar to, but far more intense than, the solar storms we sometimes endure today. Furthermore, the visible light from the explosion would be overwhelming. Astronomers predict that when Betelgeuse finally explodes, it will shine as bright as a full moon, visible even during the day, and remain visible for weeks or months. This would be a spectacle of cosmic proportions, but also a signal of something far more profound. The death of a star that lived for millions of years, collapsing in mere moments. Behind the science, there's something deeply humbling about Betelgeuse. It reminds us that we are part of a vast, dynamic universe. Stars are born, they live, and they die, often in ways that can shape entire galaxies. Supernovae don't just mark the end, they also mark the beginning. These explosions create and disperse heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron, elements essential for life. In a sense, every human being is made of stardust, the ashes of ancient stars that exploded long before Earth was born. Betelgeuse, in its impending death, may one day scatter new elements across the cosmos, seeding the birth of new stars, new planets, and possibly even new forms of life. Still, there's an eerie uncertainty. Astronomers can predict the processes that lead to a supernova, but they can't predict exactly when it will happen. Betelgeuse could explode tomorrow, or it could take another 100,000 years. The star is in its final evolutionary stages, that much is certain. But stellar timelines are vast compared to human life. What feels imminent to a star may still be far off for us. And yet, each pulse, each dimming episode, each irregularity makes scientists pause. Could this be the final breath? The idea that we could witness such an event within our lifetime is both thrilling and terrifying. The night sky we look at is always a portrait of the past. The light from Betelgeuse that we see today actually left the star over six centuries ago. If it exploded 500 years ago, we might be on the verge of seeing it. That delay between action and observation adds another layer of mystery. We might already be living in the shadow of a supernova, we just haven't seen it yet. In the grand scale of cosmic time, even centuries are mere flickers. While we go about our lives, distracted by the routines of everyday existence, Forces beyond comprehension are unfolding in the heavens. Stars like Betelgeuse don't just fade quietly. They end with a roar, sending shockwaves through the galaxy, echoing across time and space. The potential for devastation here on Earth may be limited compared to the raw power of the explosion, but it's real enough to merit concern, preparation, and reflection. Betelgeuse's story is not just about a dying star. It's about cosmic vulnerability. It's a reminder that while we may feel secure on our small blue planet, we are constantly exposed to a universe that operates on a scale and timeline we can barely comprehend. Every star has a lifespan. Every galaxy evolves. And just as our sun will one day swell and die, so too do the giants of the sky prepare for their final moment. Betelgeuse is simply further along that path. For now, we watch. We measure. We model. Scientists continue to track Betelgeuse's behavior with ever-increasing precision, searching for any signs of imminent collapse. The star has calmed somewhat since its dramatic dimming in 2020, but it hasn't returned to normal. It continues to exhibit pulsations, irregularities, and strange emissions, each one analyzed in detail, each one a possible clue. The world's most powerful telescopes, both on Earth and in orbit, keep their eyes fixed on Orion knowing that any day could bring the flash of light that heralds a new chapter in astronomical history. If and when that moment arrives, it will be more than a scientific event. It will be a cultural phenomenon, a spectacle seen by billions, a conversation across generations. Children will look up and see a new star that wasn't there before. News outlets will scramble to explain the brightness in the sky. Social media will explode with photos and theories. And somewhere, perhaps in a quiet observatory, an astronomer will close their notebook, look up at the sky, and feel the weight of witnessing the end of a stellar life. Betelgeuse has already left its mark on our imagination. Whether it explodes tomorrow or 10,000 years from now, it has taught us to look up and wonder. 
In that way, it has already done what stars do best, it has lit the darkness.